I'm on the morning shift, so which I actually like better. I hate getting up in the mornings, okay, is what I say, but I'd be so glad. It. I noticed that I think I'm not a morning person, but I noticed that I have a much more positive and cheery attitude in the mornings. Okay, so does that make me a morning person? Okay. So anyway, just drying up my eyes a little bit, okay, but let's get started. So we're going to do a second look with the Juvia's Place, okay? And what I'm going to add in a little different. I got all these recordings on here. There, jar you in. What I'm going to do a little different is I'm not going to use the um, metallic-y, uh, satiny uh, shadows um, in this palette, okay? Which would be, uh, there's only three. Okay, so there's only three shiny uh, right here, right there, and uh, this one. Okay, so I'm going to go in with a little more subtle daytime look and um, see how that comes out. I don't know uh, what kind of look I'm going to go for here. I'm going to go for, but um, we're going to do a little blending. So, I'm going to try out, uh, whew, okay, let's see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this orange as a uh, transition color, okay? So, I'm going to use, yeah, I'm going to use the orange. And there was a color, I think I'm going to try to put that green a little, I don't, we'll see, okay. Anyway. And I prime my eyes, okay, as well. Ooh, pigmentation. Don't want too much fallout. See, that's what you want right there is the color to go right on. And I really want to take it up because, see, I have a habit of not taking it up further as far as I should, excuse me. Now, I'm going to take that brown and I'm going to go into the crease area, okay? Now, if it gets on the eyelid, so what, okay? You know, we're going to make that work too. So, we're going to take this brown in the palette. Now, the thing about this brown in the palette is that this brown is not as pigmented or brownish as uh, usual your browns come out. It's something you have to build up, in other words. Yeah. So we'll just blend, blend, blend. I'm looking up at the walls. Okay. At the ceiling, making sure I don't see no bugs. I ain't gonna lie. This is bug season. Bugs coming out in big old water bugs. Ooh, I can't stand them. They look like gigantic roaches. That's what I call them. Okay, and then the bug man said that's basically what they are. Okay, not to alarm anybody, but hey. We're just going to blend. But I see it's, it's, it's coming through. It's coming through. Get a little water in the eye. It'll dry up eventually. But in the meantime and in between time. And then too is that my eyes are watering. They could be worse. And you know what? I'm going to take this brown that I just got through using. And I'm going to blend it with that green. And put it on my lid. And see if it sticks. Okay. So I'm going to take this brown. Swirl it around. And swirl it in this green. See, look at that green. Okay, you can't even see the brown. Woo. Okay, now it's a little, you can see it coming through a little bit. And I'm going to even take it up in the crease. Okay. Am I grasping at straws? Heck yeah. Okay. I'm trying to see what this, figure this stuff out. Yeah. 
It does have fallout, okay? But if you blow or tap, okay, you should be just fine. I still, this side is a little more green. Anyway, we'll add some green. There we go. Then I'm going to get into that crease. Get into that crease. So we're going to blend, blend, blend. Okay, okay. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to go in with that green. Okay, and put some more so to make it bring out the green. Look at that. You'd be surprised what you come up with when you play around with these colors. Get a little more. And now we're going to sweep it across and hopefully yeah, give it a blending, a gradient, excuse me, effect here. Yeah, I'm liking the payoff. Hey, okay. So, what are we going to do with some brow color now, okay? Hmm, okay. I'm going to blend while I think about what brow bone color I'm going to use. Mm-hmm. And, um, hmm. I'm glad I don't have to work all day, and I'm glad I'm going to be off early in the day. So I'm trying to figure out a color I'm going to use in the brow bone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking the yellow, but it just, I don't know. Oh my goodness. Okay, 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 people. Okay, let us go in with, said I wasn't going to use it, but we're going to go in with one of these uh, satiny colors, okay? I don't know which one. Um, hmm. Okay, let's tone it down. And we're going to go in, we're going to try this color. I don't know how it's going to come out. We're going to try it, okay? Um, matter of fact, let me use, I'm going to use the sponge, okay? So hopefully we can get a precise application. That's what it looked like, just that little dot right there. And we're gonna see what it do, if it do what it do. Oh, ooh, ah. Take it right into that, oh, yeah, see? Oh, not bad, not bad. Okay. I'm blending it out and I see that I had to press a little harder. Okay. Oh yeah. Let's see if this gonna work with the other eye. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, you have to press a little harder to blend this out, but that's okay. Oh yeah. Okay, so and bring it down, okay, into the transition area so we can transition <laughs> because a plan has come through. Yes, say 
I don't know. Sometimes I think it ain't going to work and it works. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go in with the eyeliner and the eye, um, the uh, mascara and everything. And then I'm going to come back with the foundation part. Okay. So stay tuned. Hey, folks. Okay. Thank you for staying tuned. Okay. I'm going to come in and show you. I didn't do. I just did the liner and the mascara. Normally, I may do a little something extra, but that's all I did, okay? And this is what I uh, came up with. And uh, we're going to put on the foundation and everything and see how it comes together. But I just wanted to uh, let you know that I'm using this L'Oreal Luminous Carbon Black um, Mascara. And this is what it looks like. What did it say? I said luminous, voluminous. Okay, mascara. Oh, sorry. In carbon black. What it was was at Target, if you buy two L'Oreal products that they had uh, in the picture, you get a $5 uh, gift certificate, uh, gift card. And so, okay, yeah, I got my $5. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's just carry on. We're going to use the Clinique. This is my favorite, okay? This is a staple in my makeup uh, collection. And this is in the number 20. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to dot it all over my face. And then we're going to go in with this uh, e.l.f. blending brush. Now, this e.l.f. blending brush is the same brush. It's not the same exact brush, but it's the same kind of brush that was in the um, Target uh, beauty boxes that they had. Okay. At the store and online they still have some online they took them out the store but they still have some online now check this out okay my friend who works at Walmart the one who I sent my friend mail to well she works at Walmart she said they got beauty boxes oh out there now okay so you might want to run there and check it out however okay the Walmart beauty boxes are five bucks okay well at the store they're 988 and personally, okay, they were not, I didn't feel, they didn't pop out like the Target boxes, okay. So, they had a lip box, okay, which you know she's getting because she, she, she likes the lipsticks, okay, of the makeup. The lipsticks and the eyeshadow. I'm the eyeshadow in the foundation, okay. So... They had some uh, eyeshadow, but it didn't pop out. It was e.l.f. It didn't pop out. Let me back up a little bit so you can see better, okay, on the foundation look. But, um, yeah, it did nothing that popped out, okay. So, but this is the brush. I almost forgot. Okay, this is the brush. Got some hair sticking out. I don't know if they're... Okay. Well, they're not coming out, out, but they're sticking out. Oh, and I forgot to tell you about my wig. Oh, okay. This is one of my oldies book goodies. Okay. This is a human hair wig. Indian hair. This is raw hair. This is the hair. I got this hair on... Um, not AliExpress, but Alibaba, okay, dot com. And what it was, was you know how when you Skype, the people can Skype you or Messenger you, you, you know, video. And they showed me the hair and let me pick out the hair. And that's what they sent to me. And that's what this is. This is uh, raw hair. This is what you call virgin hair. This hasn't been touched, okay, and processed and all this. And it's one of the... Um, very very few unprocessed bundles of hair that I have okay because every time they say raw version and you look at it you know darn well it's processed but anyway it is what it is but yeah so this right here the the curl pattern I haven't straightened it 
And I don't intend on straightening this hair because that's not what I bought it for. I bought it for it to be wavy, okay, and natural in its natural state. So, that's why. Now, I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild, okay, and I'm going to go in. I already set the um, under eyes and the eyes, uh the um concealer parts with this part of the um compact now i'm going to go in with the contour okay and i'm going to use this uh metals okay foundation i usually use this brush for fine like from foundation but because it's angled and it's going to fit right there i'm going to use it for contour too okay and this is what it looks like on the brush and then we're going to go in and I'm using this uh, <laughs> trying to use this um, camera as a guide. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Now it's nice and subtle. You can see it. Hopefully you guys can see it. Yeah, you can see it. Okay. But that that's what I like about this. And it's real fine. It's wet and wild. So I'm I, I really like it. And I noticed too that for the older people, you might want to know. See this little part right here, this little dimple part. I noticed that when I go in right there. When I contour right there, it really uh, helps to give it, it illusion, okay? See, it helps. Well, now that I told you, okay, you, yeah, I know you can see it. But generally, it helps to get rid of that, um, that little dimple I have. Anyway, okay, let's move on to my favorite blush okay and this is going you're going to be seeing me use this all the time because it's summer and it looks this is so natural okay so freaking natural looking love it i don't even have to go in all the way mm -hmm. see that goes real good with a, a bronzer or a, um a contour just, oh, just love it, love it, love it. Okay, see, see, see? Okay. And, um, uh-oh. That's it. Let's see if I should do, um, um, any highlights or anything. I could, I don't have to. I like the way my lips look, and you know what this is? This is that Carmex that in the in the tube, uh, 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 like chapstick. Okay, I like that one. But yeah, that's what this is. Hmm. I don't know. I think I'm gonna leave it like that. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Don't chop. Don't don't come for me. Okay. This is the look, and I like it. Ooh, I wonder, should I use some of the, uh, you know I'm wrong for this, but I'm going to go in with my Luminous. And that's because it's not really highlighting, but it does add to this healthy, will add to a healthy glow. I'm thinking about making another wig, okay. But anyway, I'm going to go in with this same brush. See, not too much. My eyes starting to water. But they're not watering that bad, so. Ooh, there we go. 
Mm-hmm. Might take a little down the nose. Then you get see, I like, oh yeah. Just looks so natural. I'm looking in the mirror and it just looks really natural. Okay. So hopefully this helps for uh, anyone out there that's doing their makeup and little pointers that I'm using. And um, anybody could use this. Doesn't matter really what age you are. You can all get away with using this. But two is because I'm more mature and my skin is drier. Okay. And loose. I, you know. Of course, it's just naturally that I'll be able to give tips as well to those who have the same conditions, you know, deal with the same makeup conditions that I deal with. Loose skin, dry skin, okay, hooded eyes, all that, okay. But hey, this channel is for everybody, so don't you forget to subscribe. Thumbs up this look if you like it. Nice and springy, okay. Don't forget to leave any comments or questions you may have down below. But most of all, stay blessed. Bye.